Okay. Hello, guys, and welcome to DTWG, the prep welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a, um, um, talking about ratio. So it's going to be like a, uh, from ratio to rates, then proportion, then percentages. Okay, those topics are just in one, all right? So, and usually you do see what problems on this, okay, in your GED math test. So I'm going to be explaining those topics, okay? And I will be putting it on, um, that's what I'm creating right now. It's a GED crash course, math crash course crash course so uh i'll be putting it in that playlist all right i'll i'll leave the link of the playlist in the video description box of this video okay so you can always you know if you're trying to look for a topic you go there all right or you can also check the playlist on uh, on our youtube channel for several maths topic solved okay and explained also for your rla your social studies and also for your science okay you can check their playlist okay so uh please if this is your first time on this channel um dtwgd prep we're here to support you in making sure you pass your ged okay and uh or you can check uh first of all please subscribe to our youtube channel help us to grow please do subscribe please and share give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions also you can um, leave a comment, okay, in the comment section below. And you can check our websites for summary notes, study guides, practice questions free of charge. Summary notes for your social studies and your science is on the website dtwgdprep.com, okay? And you can also join our Facebook group. Any questions you're having pertaining GED in your states, just join the group. You would receive um, answers. You know, it is it's a large community where like seven over seven thousand members now so i'll leave the link every link okay i'll leave it in the video description box of the of this um video okay and if you require one-on-one -on -one mass tutoring you can also contact me i'll leave my email in the video description box all right and um i'm working on a workbook which i'm going to give uh, free of charge that's a math workbook a workbook with your answers there for all you know, covering the, the curriculum of the GED maths. If you're interested, I'll leave a, like a form. I'm not yet done with it, but once you drop your email there, when I'm done with it, I will send a copy with you, an ebook, okay? Free of charge for you. All right, just to support you in getting your GED math test and you know, moving forward in life. All right, so here, uh, uh, the topic today is ratio. So what's ratio? It's just a way of showing how two or more things compare in terms of size, numbers, or amounts. Okay, for example, if a club has three members who are men, for every two members who are women, so you would say there's a ratio of what men to women, um, uh, club members, which is what the ratio of men to women is three ratio two, because there are three members who are men and two members who are women. Okay, so, and there are three common ways uh, we write ratios in maths. All right, so <clears throat> you, it could be in a statement format, just saying the ratio of uh, men to women is three to two. It could also be in fraction. You have this three to two means three. The first number here, men to women, men would be the numerator, while the woman would be the denominator. We also have this particular ratio notation, three ratio two. Okay, this means ratio. Okay, and you should note that ratios are always written in the lowest terms. Okay, so for example, if you have this ratio, you don't just leave it. All right, you have to what simplify it. All right, like what factor would go in six and also in five. So let's say two would go here three times and two would go here five times. This can't be further simplified. So we leave it as what three ratio five. Okay, now for examples, <clears throat> You have this example, you say the craftsman uses 48 nails to attach 200 feet of sidings as a fraction, as a fraction. What's the ratio of nails to the feet sidings? Nails to feet sidings. So nails to feet siding as a fraction is what? Nails will come as your numerator and your feet siding will come as what's the denominator. Okay, so so we have 48 to what, 200. So we can't leave this this way. We have to what, simplify it. Okay, <clears throat> we can start with um, two. 
2 would go in 48, how many times? So 24 times to go in 100, um, 200, 100 times. We can also do 2 again. 2 would go, the easiest way to, to simplify things is starting from the least number, like 2, 3, okay? So 2 would go in 24, 12 times. It would go in 50, in 150 times. We can also use 2 again. 2 would go in 12, 6 times. It will go in 50, 25 times. Can any other factor go in 6 and also go in 25 at the same time? No. So we stop at this. Okay, so this is our ratio of what nails to feet siding. Okay, now <clears throat> the second example says, oh God, I hope I'm not too fast. Okay, I just don't want the video to be lengthy, but let me slow down a bit here. So a company's workforce is composed of 10 men for every 12 women. What is the ratio of what men to women? Ratio of men to women. So we have 10 over 12, okay? Men to women. So this will be the fraction, all right? So let's simplify this. 2, we can use 2 immediately, 2 would go here 5 times, 2 would go here what, 6 times. We can't reduce this any further, so answer is, our answer is what, 5 ratio 6. We can also write it as what, 5 ratio 6, okay? You can see that. So this is all about ratio, all right? And our next um, uh, video, we're going to be talking about rates, okay? And I'm going to drop everything in the playlist, GED Crash Course playlist, okay? But we have, I have other um, playlists, like the 30 most difficult GED math questions solved. You need to watch that video. It has really helped a lot of people pass their GED math test, okay? And um, how to pass your GED fast this year. You can also watch that video, very important, all right? You know, there are several questions, you know, students ask on the Facebook group. I compile those questions and I answer them, um, you know, there it just tells you what to do to get it fast okay because that's that's uh you know when you when you see a lot of repeated questions in a group you should know this is what bugs a lot of people about the ged test okay so i will drop the link of that video also in the video description box of this uh video so thank you for staying tuned and please don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon please do give your life to christ for he is the way, Jesus is the way. He is the truth and is the life. He's, no one go, comes to the Father except through Jesus. He is the way. He's not a way. He is the only way. And is the one who is going to make us and, uh, and lead us, I mean, to heaven at last. There's always a, there's a life after death, which is eternity. So we must think of eternity after um, death. Where do we go? And I want all of us to be happy in heaven, okay? There is somewhere we go after that, okay? And that's uh, the best way to, you know, to spend it well is through Jesus. And even on earth, he's also going to bless us, all right? And grant us salvation, grace, peace, and love in our family and also good health. All right, so thank you and see you in our next video. Bye now.